Hey guys, welcome back to Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be sharing five tips on how to pose better with your face. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might already know three tips that I shared with you guys the other day. So today I'm adding, adding two more. So if you wanna know what to do with your face when you're in front of the camera, make sure you keep watching this video. So tip number one is gonna be the smize. So the smize, if you guys follow Tyra Banks, you know about this and it's basically like lifting the upper part of your eyes with like the muscles that you have around here and you're gonna, it just makes it very like fearless and like you know what you're doing type of look. So I'm gonna show you with you guys right now. So right now it's like normal and now with the smize. <laughs> You guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but I lift literally this, and that's how I make the smiles. Have to practice to get it. <laughs> but yeah, you basically just like lift the upper part of your like eyelids and have, like a little like halfway there, and that's how you're gonna get it. If you do not do the smiles, and if you don't do the second tip that I'm gonna share with you guys right now, and you have a like a, a like a serious face. You're gonna look a little creepy in front of the camera. So I'm gonna show you right now the difference without the smiles and without the second tip that I'm gonna talk to you guys in a second. So it's gonna be like this. Because you have your eyes very open. So it just doesn't look like you're engaging with the camera. It just doesn't look like you know what you're doing. So basically like, do the smiles. So I'm gonna show you right now. So it's gonna be like this. So, the second tip is instead of lifting the lower part of your eyelids, you're gonna drop the upper part of your eyelids. And you're gonna look like you don't care, you know, you're gonna be like... And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, uh, this is a lot of like fashion images that they do this and it really looks like they just don't have a care in their world and they're just like, whatever. So basically either you, like I said, you do the smiles and you lift your upper eyelids halfway there or you just drop your upper eyelids and you look like you just don't care. So it's gonna be so, looks like, it's gonna look like something like this, it's gonna be like. So, let's move on to the third tip. The third tip is gonna be the lip drop. You drop your lower lip and you basically just relax your face and you literally just drop the lower lip and it's gonna look like something like this. So, I'm gonna do it right now. So you guys can see it's like super, super subtle. Like it's nothing crazy, it's not like, you know, I don't know. It's super subtle and that just like, gives you more options when you're modeling, you know, like if you don't have to do it all the time. But basically, if you show a little bit of teeth, it's kind of like, I think I read it in like a blog that it, when you say, hey, hey, yeah, I don't know, hey, kind of like open it. So say, hey, hey, hey. I don't know if it works to be honest. I read it, I have never like seen it that way, but basically, sorry, I'm a little sick. So basically, um, just relax your face, drop your lip a little bit. It doesn't have to be too much. You don't have to do it all the time. It's just like a something that you can do with your face. The fourth tip is going to be looking off camera. So when you're modeling, you don't always look directly to the camera. And sometimes, depending what you're modeling, they actually don't even want you to look directly straight to the camera. So it all depends. So basically, when a photographer asks you to look up, like to your right or to your left, do not look all the way to your left or all the way to your right. Because you, I don't know if you can see right now, but there's a lot of white space white color in my eyeballs and that's not that is not aesthetically pleasing and it's a way better to see more of you the circle of your like your iris i think it's the name of your eye the iris um than more of the eyeball the white part of your eye hope i'm making sense to you guys Anyways, it's better to do that. So instead of looking all the way to your right or all the way to your left, you're gonna look 45 degrees off 
the camera. So I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna look both ways. So I know that the lens is literally right here. So I'm looking 45 degrees towards my right or my left. And that way you can still see that iris of my eyes. The fifth tip is going to be touching your face. And basically, like you guys seen in many models, all that stuff, you know, they touch their face and they model and all that stuff. And it looks cool and nice, blah, blah, blah. So the tip that I'm gonna share with you guys is very simple. Do not over touch your face in the terms of like, do not press too much on your face because it does not look right. Okay, so next time you're touching your face, remember, you don't wanna look like this. You're gonna look like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. If you did like it, please don't forget to hit that like button for me. Please comment down below if you have any questions, any thoughts, anything related to this video or any other video that I posted. I love, love, love answering questions. So please go ahead and do that. Don't forget to click that subscribe button for me, please, because I'm always, always posting petite modeling tips for it. <laughs> I'm always, always posting petite modeling tips for you guys. So you don't want to miss out on those you know then also don't forget to follow me on my instagram because also over there i'm posting constantly constantly daily daily petite modeling tips that you might be missing out if you're not following me so make sure you do that and hope you guys again enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye